What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here. So I just wanted to do a real quick little video talking about um, Lana Del Rey's song Without You and Taylor Swift's song Wildest Dreams. There's kind of a lot of buzz about these two songs because they sound really similar. Now I never really heard if there's any kind of feud about this or if Lana was upset about her song getting copied or anything like that. But I kind of wanted to give my two cents on it and just tell you guys kind of what I thought about it. As a musician and um, as somebody who likes both of those artists a lot, Taylor Swift's one of my favorite artists of all time, Got a big crush on her, and uh, I love Lana Del Rey too, and I don't have anything bad to say about her. So my main thought on this, and really the only thing that I kind of wanted to share with you guys, is artists are going to draw inspiration from everywhere. Everything and everybody and everywhere. And to me, I think that Taylor Swift drew, I, I think there's no doubt that she drew inspiration from Lana Del Rey's song Without You. There's no doubt in my mind, because it sounds just about identical. Like, at least the chorus of Lana's song sounds identical to the vibe of Taylor Swift's song. And they also have similar meanings, you know? They have similar lyrics and meanings, but I do not feel like Taylor copied Lana. I feel like, I feel like she definitely drew inspiration, but she didn't copy. And I think, in my opinion, for Taylor Swift to copy Lana, to draw that inspiration from Lana and find that sound that Lana found and use it in her own way, I think is a really big compliment to Lana, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, Lana's huge, but Taylor Swift is one of the largest artists in the world. She's, she's huge, you know, international tour every time she releases an album. You know, it, I'm, this is not bashing Lana in any way because I love Lana Del Rey, but Taylor Swift is easily one of the biggest recording artists of our time, easily. So for Taylor to be inspired by one of Lana's songs and use one of the, like, the sound that Lana used and found, I think it's a cool thing. I think it's a really cool compliment. Now, if I was in Taylor's position where people were kind of accusing her of copying, I may give credit to Lana and I don't know if she did on the side or something like that and it just didn't really get to the the limelight of this you know social media and media and stuff like that um, but I don't think it's as scandalous as everybody's made it out to be and I know I'm a little bit late posting this um, because it's kind of all like dispersed and gone away now but I've been listening to both songs a lot lately and it just kind of came to my attention and I thought about it so I think that I think that it was totally okay I think it's a I think Taylor drew inspiration from Lana not copied and as far as I know, Lana wasn't upset about it. And I don't think that Taylor, I don't think Taylor intended any harm or any wrongdoing. I think that she just drew inspiration, just like she drew inspiration from State of Grace, for example. State of Grace sounds like it's a U2 song. You know, it's got that genuine like U2 sound that really no other band has. So I just kind of want to give my thoughts on that. If you guys have any other thoughts on that, or if you kind of know more about it than I do, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd kind of love to hear some like feedback and some thoughts on this because it's one of those things that, you know, people are going to get criticized for all the time. You know, anybody, any artist is going to get criticized at some point for trying to steal somebody's sound or copy somebody's sound. And it's going to happen and it's fair, you know, it's not, you know, it's not out of bounds or anything like that, but it's just something that, you know, you got to kind of draw a line and figure out where finding inspiration is and where copying is. Um, but anyways, kind of share your thoughts with me. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you guys think that Taylor was stealing the song or stealing the, the sound, um, or if you think she was just drawing inspiration like I do. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see y'all really soon.